So Genshin Impact has released and my sleep schedule has been destroyed. I wasn't necessarily looking forward to this game, but I was going to try it out whenever it launched. And let me tell you, I'm glad I did because it is extremely fun, very rewarding, and just overall a really good time. So today I thought, why not tell you guys some stuff that I learned so far while playing Genshin Impact. You guys want to know my current level, I'm currently Adventure Rank 14. I played the game for about 10 hours, and some of the stuff I'm going to tell you will definitely help you out in the very beginning. Also, the way how I'm going to talk about these topics to you, I'm going to bring it up in a way that the order you unlock them. So, for example, the first one, you can do straight out the gate, and then we'll move down from the ones that you'll start doing whenever you kind of need level requirements to do it. So you guys understand? Hopefully you do. Let's get into it. First things first is explore. So in the very beginning of the game, you course have to do the prologue you can do the side missions that you want along the way with the cook and then even the blacksmith or you can just go right through and just skip everything and only do the main stuff if you want but I would say definitely do the side missions. They're very easy. Don't take too long. But once you complete all of those and you move on with the main story, afterwards, the biggest thing I can give you guys and the biggest takeaway that you should get from this video is make sure you explore the entire map. Genjin Impact is not like other gacha games in the sense that it's not really heavily gacha focused and it's more so just gameplay focused and enjoying the game yourself. Genjin Impact offers a huge open world and you should explore every bit of it. Every single chest you find, event, resources around the map can all benefits you and give you more of the premium currency. Every single chest you find in this game out in the wild will give you currency, equipment, and even XP books sometimes depending on your luck. You can find different resources that will be able to increase your stamina, which in the early game is going to be very important because you guys are going to see how annoying the stamina system is, at least until you upgrade it. You'll also be able to see certain events and stuff like that, fight certain bosses, do all that type of stuff, and you'll only be able to find them sometimes if you are exploring the map and seeing everything. So I highly recommend that you explore the map, search every nook and cranny, because if you do, you will definitely be rewarded for it. Before we get any further in the video, let me say this. If you're not subscribed yet, you should subscribe to the channel. 40% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and it only takes two seconds. Because hey, if you subscribe, you don't have to keep typing in my name on the search bar 24-7 to try to watch my video. It just pops up in your sub box. So hey man, why not save yourself some time and click that subscribe button. Moving on next is the summons. Now the summons you unlock these at Adventure Rank 5 or the Wish system. The Genshin Impact at the end of the day is a gacha game even though it seems mostly open world and just like a huge quote unquote MMORPG. But you're mostly playing solo most of the time unless you're playing co-op. And with the summons, here's what I'm going to tell you guys right now. As soon as you're starting out, of course summoning is going to be the biggest thing for most people will make or break the account that they keep. If you're new to gacha games, there's a thing in gacha games that we like to do called re-rolling. So some people may want to re-roll their account depending on what they do and do not get from the summon. How you re-roll, do not ask me. I'm going to be honest. I'm playing on PlayStation. I have no idea how you would re-roll on PlayStation compared to mobile and PC. It may be the same way. It may not be. But if you really want to know, you can probably look it up on YouTube. Tons of videos out there. They will help you. As for some solid characters to go for on these banners, if you want to, which I highly advise against it because I just hate them in any gacha game, especially in this one since this is mostly a PvE game. It's not PvP, so so it doesn't matter at all. You can look up a tier list if you want to see who's on the tier list and who is very strong in the game. My recommendation is if you do that, more so don't look at the tier list, but just look at everybody's kit and see which kit interests you the most, and then maybe try to go for this. If you want to go for a five star, go on ahead, but I would only recommend doing that if you are planning on re-rolling. If you're not planning on re-rolling, you're just starting out right off the gate, I would recommend maybe aiming for a four star that you like their kit design or you like the way how they look instead of aiming for a five star right off the bat. Of course, people have made tons and tons of videos out there talking about some of the crazy characters if you want to look up any of that stuff but my biggest recommendation like i said look up on the tier list look up on their actual genshin impact site see how the characters look see what the characters do and just pick it off of that more so than the tiers because as this game is it's mostly a pve game no character is necessarily gonna be the best especially with the game system and everything's with elemental combos and all that so for right now we just don't have one character that rules all yet as for some of the characters that i would recommend getting right out the gate Fischl is definitely a very strong four star character. She's a supporting character. What she does is she puts out this bird, does electric damage to everybody in the area, really good as a support. Razor is also really nice, a very strong physical damage dealer. He's a great sword user, really cool. Has a stand if you're a fan of JoJo. If you're interested in Jing Ling, you're able to get this girl for free, so you don't have to reroll for her or summon for her if you don't want to. Same thing with Barbara for right now until update 1.01. .01. We're able to get her for free as long as you reach adventure rank 20. As for the five stars, 
stars go pretty much any five star is going to benefit you all of them are very strong and definitely worth using and since we're talking about characters currently let's talk about what to do with your resources now here's what i would recommend to you guys because it's going to get very costly the more and more you progress in the game and that is focusing on maybe one two possibly even three and using your fourth character as just being there the reason why i say this is because the amount of gold that's going to take and the amount of exp items it's going to take to start leveling up your character especially past that level 50 to 70 mark it is going to take a ton of xp and gold you're going to run out of resources if you're upgrading everybody a ton or you're just throwing it everywhere what I recommend doing is that focus on three characters maybe like a main damage dealer a supporting character and then maybe like another damage dealer that is more of like a secondary dps you know what i mean and you'll be moving with your main damage dealer though of course make sure they're always the highest level make sure you're always upgrading them first and getting them as far as possible as for your support characters and stuff level 50 from what i've heard is actually fine and you can leave them at that for at least in the beginning and moving on with the game but of course you'll want to bring them up at some point next we're actually gonna talk about some gameplay stuff which is elemental combos make sure you guys are doing these as much as possible you're introduced on different elements and what they can do very early on in the game and let me tell you these are extremely important and very very powerful here's all the different elemental combos you can do in the game and let me tell you one of the strongest ones in the game right now which is actually electric and frost whenever you proc electricity and frost on a character you will apply a 50 percent physical resist down onto them which is extremely op especially if your main damage dealer is of course physical damage that's going to increase their dps by quite a bit of course depending on what characters you are using and stuff you may be using different elements or whatever so make sure you find elemental combos that best work for you but that is one of the biggest things in this game make sure you're elemental comboing and doing all of those juicy combos and making it look real nice on screen because whenever you pull off some crazy stuff it looks really cool aim for adventure rank 12 slash 14 on day one if possible by day one i mean the day that you start playing the game the reason why i say this is because there's certain benefits you get at adventure rank 12 and adventure rank 14. one of the benefits you get at adventure rank 12 is that you're able to access your login bonus of course your daily login bonus is very nice because the only thing you have to do is log into the game and you get rewarded for it and every day you don't have this that means every day you're missing out on just free rewards as for the other stuff that you can unlock at 12 slash 14 you unlock these new things called ley lines ley lines are pretty much like the exp dungeons or gold dungeons in other gacha games but in genshin impact they'll appear on your map as you can see right here you can tell which one's which by the color of them if it is a blue ley line then that of course means that it is an exp book ley line if it is gold one then of course that means it is for the gold in the game of course farm whichever one you need whenever you need those resources but do be careful with how you spend your raisin which is actually technically the stamina system in this game not the stamina system like combat but the actual stamina system if you played any other gacha game slash mobile game you only get 120 of this and yes it recharges over time and pretty much anything you do consumes this if you do a dungeon if you do a ley line so make sure that you are always farming the right stuff and also make sure that you are never capped as you can see right now my raisin may or may not be maxed i'm not for sure because i'm recording the audio for this first and then the gameplay afterwards but definitely make sure that you are always using your raisin you always have that baby recharging because that will be best case scenario now unfortunately i cannot show you this on the map because i actually already did them all for the day but the next thing you unlock is commissions which commissions think of them as daily missions they will pop up around the map and you can go to them do these little objectives upon completing them you will get rewarded and if you go back to the adventurers guild and you talk to the receptionist she will reward you for doing the daily commissions so definitely recommend you do that every single day as soon as you get up and last but not least is expeditions these will be another thing that you unlock at adventure rank 14 what these are are pretty much ways for you to get free resources by sending off different characters that you have to go collect them for you now of course once you send them off i don't think you can use the character because it does give you a pop-up like hey if this person's in your party you're going to send them on a dispatch are you sure about it but they recommend sending the characters that you're not using on these expeditions just because it's free resources and if you're not using the characters why not make some use of them and just send them there and get some free rewards and now once you're probably a little bit further you probably adventure rank 15 now or whatever after you got through all of that type of stuff did some more story and everything and then now you're wondering how are you going to be spending your currency in the game and what i mean more so is the wish currency now of course if you didn't get the character you want yet and you still really want a character go on ahead keep going for it there's nothing really wrong with it and definitely if you want a five star why not just keep summoning for it and see if you get a five star if you do hey congrats but as for what i'm gonna do this is what i'm gonna tell you guys and maybe this is a recommendation that other people will give other players as well so 
there's two types of banners in this game. We have the default banner, which is always here, which is the one with Jean and Dillick on it. And then we have the intertwined fate banner, which is of course the character event banners. If you guys ever check the rates for this game, you guys know that the rates are 1.6 if you are doing a multi summon for a five star. It is very low and it's a very small chance that you actually obtain it. And if you're wanting to get a certain five star and you're not really for sure if you want to spend your currency at the moment or save it or whatever the case may be, especially if you're going to be free to play in this game or a budget player and you're not really going to be whaling or if you never played a gacha game before spending tons of money on the game so here's what i'm going to do personally and you guys don't have to do this but why not just tell you what i'm planning on doing so if you look at any banner you will be able to see that yes the rates are extremely low but if you actually scroll down in the banners you will see something that's actually pretty cool you're guaranteed to win a five star character at least once per 90 attempts the first time you win a five star item in this event wish and this is probably going to be the same for every single intertwined fate banner that comes along later on there's a 50 percent chance it will be the promotional character if the character you win in this event which is not the promotional character then the next five star you win no matter what is guaranteed to be the promotional character so of course what does that mean op that means that at least you need nine multis to guarantee yourself one five star and then if you want to guarantee the character itself that means you at least need 18 multi summons so at the moment how i'm playing the game i actually do not need to summon anymore if i do it's really gonna be my chat telling me whenever i'm streaming like aop summon and they're gonna peer pressure me into it and i can't really help that but i'm going to be saving my currency as much as i can at least and saving for at least nine multi summons because the reason why is that you're only guaranteed a five star item within nine multis so why not just save for the guaranteed and not spend your currency whenever you don't have the guarantee if you are really like wanting to be cautious and wanting to be like oh if this character comes out i really want to make sure that i'm able to get them maybe you saw them in the story but they're not currently in the game whatever the case may be then of course for you i would recommend saving 19 multi summons but, but if you are struggling in the game and you need more weapons you need more characters you know your main dps just really ain't cutting it for you then hey go on ahead do some summons and try to get your account boosted a little bit but if you're not really struggling i don't see a point in summoning of course if you want to pay attention to a tier list you can i'm gonna be honest with you i'm pulling for whatever looks good <laughs> if a character looks cool your boy op is probably summoning for it and that's actually all the tips that i can currently give you so yeah man you guys go out there have some fun enjoy genshin impact you do not need to rush in this game at all it is a single player slash co-op game you know pve no need to rush the game you can take your time with it if you're not able to get to adventure rank 12 or 14 or not able to do most of the stuff that i mentioned on this list do not stress about it man take your time enjoy the game it is an extremely fun game and i hope all you guys are enjoying it but hey man it's been your boy p don't forget to like comment subscribe for more thank you all for coming out thank you all for watching the video and last but not least man don't forget to drink water